recording. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to start with some refreshers. Let's see. Here's the first sentence. ありがゆびさしているのはあ一本おる一本の縄ばしごだ縄ばしごだったおるただ you know what yubi sashite means? Uh, is that a rope ladder? Nawabashigo is the rope ladder here. Naruto. You can kind of think yubi of it. Sashite. Sorry? Uh, I was going to like, so nawa means rope. And uh, bashi kind of sounds like hashi, if you know that means bridge. Bridge it's or chopsticks. Kanji. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's different kanji, but it sounds so rope bridge. Kind of, even though a different Little bridge uh, might help. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yubi sasu is something you can do with your hands. Roll into a fist or grab. It's it gotta be one of the two. To, um, point. Yubi means finger. Um, sasu kind of means like pointing, probably. So yubi sasu means like the point with your hand, basically. So asoko. So ani yubi sasu no wa the thing. That Annie was pointing at was what was it? It was a ippon no nawabashigo, so one rope ladder. Exactly. And then what does she say? What nante nagai nawabashigo nanda. So, like, whoa, what a big rope ladder. Perfect. And next is this line. Sore wa jack no atama no haruka ue idaga futani or idaga futani futani. So you were correct over here that this was eda. You would have been this guy, even though it's written like this. This is e. And this is eda. a that's it. That's it. Ah, that's okay. Yeah, I thought it was a small two for some reason. Naruto. So, Eda ga futatsu ni wakari wakare teru tokoroma de tokoroma de tsusui tsusui teru. Nice. So, what is the sore referring to? Sore wa, so that is an. What is that referring to? The rope ladder. Yes. So it's referring to the rope ladder. So we're talking about how long is this rope ladder? Well, Jack no atama no haruka ue. Jack no atama no haru ue. So Jack's head haru ga ue on top. So like on top of Jack's head. And then haruka is describing um, a distance. Haruka, which is like a bit, I'm guessing. Yeah, it means long or very far. So haruka ue means far above Jack's head. Jack's head. Atama no haruka ue. Far above Jack's head. And then we have made over here. Do you know what made means? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Linked words. They're almost like opposites and they tend to be working together to describe mm. the hajimari and the owaru. Hajimaru is that kara and owaru. Owaru is that made. So it's like to end? Yes. Kind of. Made basically means to end. Uh, directly, it means more like until. So, mm. so we're talking about tsuzuiteru, which means continuing. So I... the nawabashigo is continuing far above Jack's head until made. And then the place is this tokoro, which is this place, which is eda ga futatsu ni wareteiru. What does that part mean? Eda ga futatsu ni wareteiru. Eda ga futatsu ni wakareteiru. 
So for some reason, I think A dot means era, but I might be thinking of something else. I know G dot means era. Edo is the Edo period. Like Edo, Edo G dot would hmm. be the period of Edo. Might be where you're going to confuse. You know, there's Meiji, Edo. Those are the period names. Periods might be that. Eda has to do with a key. Kagi? Not Kagi. That would be key. I mean, that would be key. <laughs> that would be mm. key. key in English. Uh, key, key like a tree. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it has a little key, um, katakana character inside of it. So knowing sure. that has to do with mm. trees, what, what do you think is what did they do? What are they eating? What are they? So kind of, I know that it translates to the branches splitting into two, mm -hmm. but I can't really translate it word for word. Okay. That might be branch, maybe. Yes, and that is branch, and that's the one doing the action. The verb is what did they do, which means basically to divide or split something. The kanji what did they do just kind of has that like separate meaning. For example, uh, betsu means different, or I want a different thing. You might use betsu for that. So it just means making a difference between something. So we had a branch and we're making it different. And the way in which you're making difference, which is me, the way in which something does something is me. Futatsu. What does futatsu mean? Two things. Yes. So tree has made itself into two things basically it has split itself it is now two what did they do so, that's neat two branch and dividing itself making I... and then tokoro you know what that means? tokoro just means place exactly so the nawabashi go is extends so far above jack's head all the way up until a branch splits into two And next is this guy, a little cramped. <coughs> uh, me o. Did I read that right? Yeah, me o. Korashite yuku miruto. Soko ni wa. Sai. Sai shikute. Sai shikute shikaku. Where is the key coming from over here in, in this word? Where's that she coming from? There is no she. There it's she sakute. Yep. Chi sakute. Hi. Chi sakute. Ah, shikakui. Kino koya ga no tsukatsute yuta. It looks like it's funky. Too, this is actually a little small too. Ah. Nokatte ita. Nokatte ita. Hi. Do you remember what no kateita means? What is this verb? What does it mean? No kateita. It sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. It's kind of similar to no boru. So the, what was the opposite word? It's like going out. Or like going in? Uh, so, um, nokateita means to kind of climb something, but in this context, it would be like sitting on something. <laughs> like in English, we would, we would say it's sitting, I would say, rather than climbing, because it, like, it didn't climb anything, but it's up in the tree, you know? Mm. So it had climbed, but didn't actually, it's an inanimate object. <laughs> so sitting in the tree, I feel like is how we say it in English. And our subject of what's doing in Nokateita is a koya. Koya. What is that? Which I sounds very familiar. Very familiar. Even has the same koya. kanji, chisakute. Koya, chisakute. Mm -mm. Mm. Small, big, what does that have to do with koya? Mm. What do you think is in the tree? What's in the tree? 
What could be? I know it's a tree house. Oh. Tree house. Yes, it's a tree house. So koya uh, means like a small cabin, kind of like a small hut. So it's letting you know the tree house is not like a big ass mansion or castle or anything. It's just a little little koya. In what so shape? it's like, oh, what was the word? Oh, I thought they just replaced here with Koya just to change the house, but I don't know. I'm uh, guessing. Yeah, means uh, so yeah. Uh, and the he part. So heya together means room, but uh, it like the kanji. This part right here is like bubun nobu, I believe. Hold up a sec. Uh, bubun. Yeah, and this means part. So it's like part of a house. Hey, yeah. Does that kind of make sense? Uh, ya is commonly used for, um, so ie is like a home, but ya can be used for other things like stores might have ya at the end of their names. It was very, mm. very common. So ya kind of basically means like a building, like a house. And hey, ya is, is part house. So what's part, part house? Of a room. It's just, it's dividing the house into a smaller boo-boo. A smaller part. It's kind of what- Oh, so that's the relation. All right, got it, yeah. So, koya means small house. Tiny house. And, um, what shape is this house? Where is that said? Three house the Ah, shikaku. Shikaku, ichi, ni, Four-sided shape, so a square. Exactly. It's a square hut made out of tree. And how was he able to see this? What did he have to uh, do? Me o krashte yukumiruto. So he krashte yokumiru. So he looked carefully in a krashte kind of way. Exactly. So koraste means to kind of squint in your eyes, basically. So he squints his eyes and he gives it gives it a good look. And he can see up where the branches split that there is a very small um, four-sided tree house. And it's sitting up over at that location, the lo where the branches split. And now we have this part. <clears throat> So Zu has this character. So what actually oops is this guy? Zo. Yes. I mispronounce things a lot, but yeah. Super easy when you're a beginner. Hi. Your reading speed is really fast, which is actually better, I think, than pronouncing every character correctly. Yes, there's one side for that. Yeah. So what does this mean? Doki doki to Takanata. So Jack, oh, sorry, tree house. Da. Oh, it's a tree house. Jack Shinzo ga Shinzo Shinzo Shinzo. I Shinzo Sasage. What this yes, should be something. Exactly. Shinzo <laughs> Sasage. Um, that the. It's like give your life to the cause. It's kind of Shinzo. Hmm. It, like that's how you could think of what that phrase kind of means. <laughs> give your life to your to the cause, kind of. To the cause. Pledge your allegiance, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure of the exact breakdown. Mm. Shinzo. Something forward is a guess. That's a good guess. So kokoro means heart and shinzo refers to more like the physical heart than or than like the emotional heart so kokoro a lot of times in japanese tends to mean soul like the same meaning as a soul like where's your heart where's your soul they might use kokoro mm. well, shinzo tends to be more physical so in attack and titan they're like give your life to the cause basically to uh yeah sas sasageru means to offer up something so give your heart. So basically die for us. Oh, okay. That's, That's what it means. Saying, Shinzo ga sasa sasage yo. So to offer up your heart to us, but not necessarily your soul. 
because your soul is going to go in the afterlife, but your living heart, your current beating heart, offer it up, die for us, basically. Mm. But not, not as like aggressive necessarily. But that, that's why they're using shinzo and not kokoro. It's kokoro would insinuate like dying and then in the afterlife continuing the fight, I would say. If you're like kokoro ga sasage yo, I'd be like, you a demon? Wow. <laughs> so that, that, that's kind of like where that difference pops up. So the physical reality is shinzo. So that's why the shinzo is going doki doki. It's a physical thing you're feeling right now. Shinzo ga doki doki. To takanatta. So it's like excitedly beating. Exactly. Your heart beats in an exciting way or throbs. Perfect. Oops. And what does Jack say? Arewa zettai zikai de sekai de. Ichiban. I really confuse sa and chi. Ichiban. Yeah, Ichiban. Ichiban takai tsuri house yo to ani. Oh, ani says so. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Arewa. So that's definitely. Mm -hmm. The only tree house in the world said Annie. Really, really close. So Ichiban doesn't mean only. That'd be like uh dake. Hitori dake kana? Hitotsu dake, maybe. Hitotsu dake. Tada hitotsu. Uh, I'm not sure this is the only one on top of my head, but Ichiban more has to do with like a numbering system. And we're saying Ichiban is up here. It's a gold medal, is Ichiban. Mm. Mm. Ichiban. Wow. So the most in this case. Zeta Ichiban uh Takai. Takai. Oh, I missed Takai somehow. Takai. Tall. So it's the tallest tree house. In the world. Said Annie. In the world. Definitely. <laughs> Zeta. Perfect. And next is this part. ジャックスです。こんなとこにところに釣りハウスがあった。なんて知らなかったな。知らなかったな。いや、ま、知るミンス。知るミンスノダチロ。I Ranai. So a hmm. knife form. For example, tebe, taberu becomes tabe nai in um, knife or tabe nai. So shiru becomes shiranai. Shiranai. Because shiru hmm. is a u verb. It's, it's just a conjugation difference between an u verb and an u verb. Taberu, tabe nai. Shiru, shiranai. So, shirana, shirana kattana. so I didn't know. Exactly. And what did he not know? Tokoro ni tsuri house ga atta. So, kono tokoro ni, I would say, is what kona is meaning, but kona just more aggressive. Mm. So, like, I didn't know that tree house kind of. I was there know, yes exactly that one's perfect yep i did not know that here in such a place that there was a tree house like what he's, he's basically saying like i come home every day past this place how did a tree house get here i had no idea so it just makes it more aggressive and how did he say this like the way in which he said it the next part mm. Jack wa koya o jito or jito. Well, jito the, the first time. Jito. Yep. Mm, jito. jito. Mia geta mama. Tsubuyata. Tsubuyata. Do you know what tsubuyaku meant? Tsubu. Tsubuyaku. Here is the kanji for it. Tsubuyaku. 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 
I want to tell you something. To, mm -hmm. to yaku. Hmm. So it's like, oh, it's to mutter. Yes, it is to mutter. Perfect. Nice. And um, ji to. This right here is just I'm telling you, this is a automatic pia phrase expressing the way in which he was doing miyageru. What do you think miyageru means? Miyageru. Uh, uh, so it has the kanji for under and it has like that three boxes thing, which I forgot what kanji that was for. Miru. Get the mama. Miru. Mm. Miru. So like... Mm. Close. Looking down. Close. So let's look at the kanji that you said though is looking below. What what does the kanji actually look like? Is it looking upwards? It so is I mixed the two downwards. kanjis. Yeah. So shita. There mm. it's kind of, so though so whenever you see like a the line right there, you can kind of think of it as this right here is the ground. And on ageru is a line going up, and here is the spot. So where is the spot? It's above the line. So, ageru is above. The other one, we're going down in the root system, and you're like, right here. Where is that? It is below the line. Mm, that so, makes a lot easier, yeah. That's just, you just got to look at it and be like, where's the ground? So, yes, looking up. What did he, what did he look up at? What is a koya? koya? A small house. Exactly. So, what do you think Mama is doing in this? Hmm. The time frame. Reminds me of Kono Mama. Yes, but it's the same Mama. Same meaning. Uh, Kono Mama means like this situation continuing as it is. Mm. <laughs> if you're like directly translating it, kind of weird. Uh, so mama basically is talking like a jolti, like a situation basically. And it tends to mean that the situation is not changing. So in this context, it means, wow. So Jack is doing the action of looking up at the tree house. And this action is continuing. And the thing he does as well as he's staring, the staring has not ceased actioning. <laughs> he mutters, basically. Um, so it just basically means whatever is before this will not change. It is continuing on for a while, hopefully. <laughs> that makes sense. So kono mama means kono, this mama. So this, what is happening? While, kind of. End. So a lot of times kono mama will be like a bad thing. Like, if this continues going on for now, I'm going to die or someone's going to die. It mm -hmm. tends, so it tends to be like, we need to change the mama. We need to change the status quo in that case. Uh, but like the mama meaning has not changed. It just, it has a different use in a different context. But yeah. Hi. The act of this, continuing. <laughs> and then Jack also says this. Uh, it's like, whose tree house is this? Yes, and is he asking and this? Uh, he said, nandaro mm -hmm. or nanda. So, ah, uh, nanda. Mm, nandaro. It's like, I wonder whose tree house exactly. this is. So, yeah, he's not, he's, he's wondering to himself. What does Annie say? Uh, why or wa? No, but they wa looks similar to that. That is true, but wa doesn't have the little loop. Mm. Here's wa. So, who is this? Who could this be? My hand is this dobutsu. It's not an inu, it's a neko. Yes. The cat, neko, ne, ne. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. That makes more sense. Ne, nobotte minai. Nobotte ni minai. 
Yes, so we got noboru here, which I told you earlier was very similar to a different word. Which is the word for on top. So noboru is like under, oriru. Uh, it actually, the meaning is similar. So it actually, noboru means to climb, like to actually climb. While the other one to be on top, basically, was nokatte. Here, nokatte. Mm. It should be no karu, probably. No katte. No katte. No katte. Right there. This one right here. No katte. So they're very um similar. No katte and no boru. No katte. No boru. Sometimes they can have the same kanji. If I went through no boru, mm. no katte, I think. Uh, do you know what minai means? Minai. It's like, I can't see. That is a good class. So miru does mean see, and nai form with miru can mean to not be able to see. So minai with the kanji does mean I can't see or cannot see. That is correct. Hi. However, when you're making a compound word with two verbs, with the first verb in te form and the second verb in minai, looking like a minai, so we have te minai, as we have seen, we have nobote minai. We got a little te right here. This is something else. Um, this actually means um, to want to try something. So oh, that's totally uh, different. Completely different. It's been a while, a whole week. Uh, so it's it's a very so negative form in Japanese uh, can insinuate an invitation for something. Uh, so with this, we're here by doing negative form. It's like, oh, why don't we try this? Would be a, a similar negative form in English. Like, oh, why don't we do this? Making it more uh, polite to kind of, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, so she's saying like, uh, hey, why don't we, we um, try climbing this? Why don't we try this? I want to climb. And Jack, what does he tell her? ダメだよ。誰のものだかわからないんだから。ダメだよ。What <clears throat> does that mean? ダメ like ダメ I uh, don't or like no. ダメだよ。And then we have this dakara. Because. because. So don't because ダレモノだから or ダレモノ. Mm -hmm. So we don't know who's Daremono, who's think? Yes, it is. So Daremono. exactly, that is that is perfect. You did that perfect. We don't know whose thing that is. So in English, we need to say that is. Just throw that in there. Not needed in Japanese. So Daremono da Daremono daka wakaranai dakara because we don't know who that belongs to. Do you remember what this nda is doing right here? Why don't we just have wakaranai dakara? Wakaranai dakara. Instead, we added a mm into here. Do you vaguely remember what I told you that meant in this context? <laughs> wakaranai dakara. In da. Sounds really familiar. <clears throat> There's so many ndas. There are. So many. Uh, this right here is same as dakara, basically, of being like an explanation for something. But it doesn't mean because it just gets inserted in there because this is an explanation for why it's dame da yo. <laughs> mm. So you can think of it as um, almost it's just it's the flavor the sentence needs rather than like the actual ingredient. So it's like salt rather than like the ham. I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> it's like if you ask a question in. Um, English, you use rising in intonation. Like that's very important. But in Japanese, you can add a ka to make a question. Like, Hi. dare ka? Who's that? But you could say, dare? You, you could say it without the ka and just do the rising intonation. So this n is like rising intonation, but for because. <laughs> it, it's, it's conveying the meaning of the question without, uh, so, but like dakara is more like the ka. 
of a vocal saying because sentence yeah <laughs> but yeah it's kind of hard um you could say the sentence of dare no mono da ka wakaranai da and this would still make sense a Japanese speaker would be like, it's because you don't need, it's more like saying it's cuz, I guess, by doing cuz, like shortening it without saying the whole word because. But you couldn't really say this without the n. Like it sounds weird if you just says, <coughs> daru no mono ka, wakaranai da kara. It feels like too, straight. kara. It's too, too straightforward. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what does Annie do here after she hears what Jack said? Uh, so what is this character again? Ue, ue, ue. Ue? So ue would look like that. This, this is you. You, yes. You. Do you know ue. what you meant? Uh, it is to say. Exactly. Yeah. So, you koto mo kikazu. You know what koto is doing here? Koto. So, koto. It's that, kind of like no. a grammar thing. Could you say you mo just like that? That'd be daizo. You mo kikazu. Would it be? You actually can't because this is a verb and this is a particle. In Japanese, I... verbs and particles cannot get married. It's illegal in Japanese. Mm. However, if you make a <laughs> a polyamorous relationship and add a koto to verb, then what happens is that this becomes a legal relationship as koto basically turns this into a phrase or a noun. Or I guess you could call it a noun phrase maybe. And allows it to work with the particle. The particle. Mm. So the particle says you can't just say you mo. That is disgusting. Because in this case, mo is the particle. So koto is just being acted as the marriage counselor in this case. <laughs> How about kikazu? Kikazu. And zu. Actually, be kikanai. Kikazu. So it's like I heard her say something. So Annie is. So this is complicated grammar wise because the person who's doing you is Jack. Um, but it doesn't actually say this in the sentence. That is a context clue. Um, so the action Annie is doing is kikazu. But the kikazu. thing she is doing kikazu too is Jack's yukoto. However, hmm. it doesn't say Jack no yukoto uh, because it's insinuated by context. Uh, theoretically, wow. it could be Annie no yukoto mo kikazu, but that would actually be like that she had multiple personality disorder. Like, hmm. Kind of weird. Why, why, why does she not kikazu, kikiku? Why does she not kiku her? Iyukoto. Isn't she the same person? Um, so Kiku, do you know what Kiku meant? To listen or to exactly. hear. So how about Kikanai? I can't hear. Yes. Uh, kikazu means um, without listening. Hmm. So without listening to Jack's Iyukoto. Or the things Jack says without listening to whatever Jack was saying, which was dame da yo, dare no mono da ga, da ka, wakaranai da kara. The dame, in other words, the most important you koto. She kikazu, she ignores it basically without listening to Jack's words. She don don, which is a automatic you word. So you can see she nobotte iku. Never noboru? You saw that not that long ago. To climb. Exactly. And then we have Iku here. Do you remember why there's Iku here? Hmm. Because she's like climbing now, Iku, Ikio, like Not going Iku to climb. Now, you, you're so if it was Noboru, Noboru, that would be that future tense you're kind of insinuating, which you mean like will climb in the future, basically, or habitually. 
Uh, in Japanese, to talk about something currently happening, they have to turn noboru into te form, nobotte. And there's different ways to do it. There's nobotte iru, nobotte kuru, and there's nobotte iku. These in English, if you're like translating them, all have the same meaning of to start climbing or to be climbing. However, in Japanese, it conveys a little extra meaning into it. Iru is the very boring one. It just means to be climbing. There's no special meaning being conveyed. Uh, it's just, it's very robotic and boring. Nobody likes that <laughs> in Japanese. While kuru and iku convey the opposite of each other. And it has to do with where is the audience or where is the narrator? Does that make sense? It's basically <laughs> adds you and puts you inside the story that something is no bit botte kuruing or something is no botte ikuing. The two forms basically it puts you into the story. So you have to imagine a from a certain direction that something is occurring basically. <laughs> Uh, nobotte kuru was the one you were pretty good at. You know what kuru conveys? Uh, nobotte kuru. So like away, kind of. Kuru is actually towards, I would say. It's towards oh, the, opposite. the um, narrator or the audience. So, um, onigakuru or uh, otte kuru was what was in the book, otte kuru, which is talking about a which meant the Barakimono was chasing them. It allowed him to take out the them of the sentence because Kuru already conveyed the direction in which the monster was chasing. It was chasing toward me, mm. speaker. So we didn't really need to say uh, watashi o nobotte kuru, which would be chase the, chasing me. We could just- Chasing the chasing me, yeah. Chasing toward me, if chasing me toward me, like a little bit excessive. So we can just take out chasing me and just say chase toward me. So iku conveys the opposite meaning of that. It means chasing away. So maybe if you had um, like Naruto Shadow Clone Jutsu and the monster wanted to chase you, um, and it chased your clone, you could use otte iku perhaps to convey that it was chasing you, but it went away <laughs> from mm. you. Like its goal was to chase you perhaps. That might be like a convoluted, a convoluted way to convey that meaning. <laughs> that its goal was to chase you, but it failed. <laughs> but over here, our protagonist basically is Jack. There's some kind of, we the audience are basically like hugging Jack and we kind of sit with him all the time. Um, so basically wherever Jack is, that tends to be where our camera or we, the audience tends to be. So because of that, we are sitting with Jack and Annie, well, she nobotte iku. She's no longer with us. She climbed don don up the namabashigo and she's gone now. I can't, I can't, mm. I can't see her anymore. And I'm like, oh no, Annie, where did you go? You're gone. Um... So up here it says yagatte. <laughs> oh, somehow, somehow that cut, cut off. Yagatte. But let's read this guy. Yagatte tsuri house ni tadoriki. Tadoriki. Or tadoritsuki. Tadoritsuki. Yep. Tadoritsuki. Suruto tsuro rito. Nakamo Perfect. Uh, so Tadori Tsuki, do you have any idea what that could mean? She's climbing a Nawaboshigo and now she has Tadori Tsuki at the treehouse. So Tadori Tsuki. Can't really mm. take it off. I don't think you know the words. It is a compound word theoretically, but it you you don't really know the. It's not like common. Tada, I've heard it a lot. It's like tada, sorewa or something. And yeah, but tsuki... this is tadori. Um, so tadori, since you're curious, tadori has this kanji, uh, tadoru. 
people, which means to follow something kind of, like the follow with your eyes, not the chase. And tsuku, this tsuku specifically, has the meaning of um, arriving somewhere. So tadori tsuku together means to arrive after like having a struggle. <laughs> so it's kind of weird to just follow and arriving. But I guess it's because follow has like a mountain. Maybe it's a pain to follow people. They're like, people are bad. <laughs> yeah, mm. you are, you're trying to follow them. <laughs> like, ah! Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, ap apparently it really sucks to um, follow somebody. So it, it tends to have like a finally reach or it takes a while. So if you remember this Nawabashi goal was obscenely long. It was super duper duper long, way, way above Jack's head. So that might be why they decided to use Tadori Tsuki to convey that she just climbed that whole ass ladder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she finally reached up there. And Yagate is another time phrase that means like before long. So it didn't really take her that long. She went in a don don kind of way. But man, that was a lot of. That was, that was a long. A lot of climbing. A lot of comments. Um, Sururito right here just is another one of those onomatopoeia like words that's describing the way in which she naka e haite. So, this naka, what does that mean? In. Exactly. And she haite. What does that also mean? Entered. Yeah. So, entered inside. In, 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 in. Naka mo haite. And they're using the mo here just to mean also. So not only did she arrive at the treehouse, but she also entered it. Now, what did Jack feel about this? Shimatta, which is like a frustrated kind of feeling. Like, oh no. Exactly. So now we're off into our brand new vocabulary. Te form plus more mo is uh, even if you do a verb. Uh, for example, what is the te form of yobu? Do you remember? So yobu, yobotte, which I can't really say. Oh. Yotte, so, yobotte. Do you remember yomu? Mm. Do you remember yomu? That was from a while ago. What's its te form? Hi. Uh, yomu, yomu mashite, yotte, yonde. No, yonde? Yes, yonde. That is perfect, yonde. So yobu is very similar it's yon wait yobu yonde yonde oh, yo yo <laughs> now i'm like doubting myself <laughs> like is it yonde <laughs> it is yonde i don't know why like you know when you say a word a bunch of times and it stops sounding real <laughs> so yeah it's still yonde but the, like they both turn into yonde <laughs> mm. kanji which is why kanji saves people Hi. <laughs> so hi. So yonde is the te form. So how do you think I would say, even if I call out Annie with our new grammar form of te plus mo, how would we say that? Hmm. Even if I call out ye Annie. So oh, oh, oh. how do I say that? Yonde. Yonde o ani dakara or something similar. I was like, it's such interesting. Um, so because Annie, because so because, like, because, hmm. because I because <laughs> I'm just like, how would I say? Because Annie did calling, maybe <laughs> because because <laughs> we Annie to call. Like you mothered someone, I Annie to call. <laughs> uh, Annie's kind of the verb right now, which so, doesn't make sense. So in Japanese, we always do the <coughs> subject, then we have a particle, then we have the object, and we get a particle, and then we have a verb. So our verb mm. here is yomu, yobu, not yomu, yobu to call. Hi. So yonde is going to be the end of our sentence. And then, Ni wa. yes, I, I, I. so you wanted mm. any wa, 
What is what is the subject of I even if I call out Annie? Oh, true. The subject would be watashi or yeah. maybe jaku. So what? Watashi wa Annie. Hmm. That makes sense. Watashi her wa Annie ga maybe. So ga is a little wrong because of what the verb is. The verb is yobu. What particle does yobu like to have its direct object use? Mm -mm. Oh. Yes. Um, ani o yobu is okay. You could also say ani to yobu. Um, specifically, I wrote the English so that it conveys the meaning of the to version. That's, I, I put quotation marks around ani. So to is more of a direct quotation of something. So watashi wa ani to yonde would be I called out Annie, while Annie o yonde tends to be even if I call Annie, it gets out that out, out, hmm. out goes away, and so do these quotation marks. Even if I call Annie, so you see the meaning extremely similar. You convey the same ish idea. Uh, I just did to in this example sentence because uh, we saw to earlier with yobu. <laughs> so mm. this was a uh, easier I felt link uh, however this right here just means um, I called out Annie or it's more like an order like I ordered myself to call out Annie uh, I'll do um, Annie o yonderu, which is I am calling Annie how would I do even if I call Annie how would you do that starting from the even beginning. if okay hmm so the even if part, how would I do that? Hmm, that was the new grammar pointing out on this page. It's in a circle. Uh, te form plus mo. Exactly. Mm. Hmm. So, watashi wa ani to um, yondei, yondei, why do I want to say yondei iru? Yondei mo, or <laughs> no. <laughs> yondei yonde, mo. Hai, yondei mo. Oh, the... This, this is this is a phrase, so there does have to be more sentence afterwards to make like a complete sentence. So even if I call Annie, even in English, we, we know there's something else going on over there. Mm. Uh, so yes, even if I call Annie, perfect. So now we have this. Uh, so teba, doesn't really convey a lot of meaning like grammarly. It just means like you, you, you annoy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like a bad word, but it's not a compliment. <laughs> it, just, it just means like, oh, Annie. It's, it's like groaning someone's name. Do you know what ikura means? It's commonly used. Ikura. It means how much. Exactly. So in this, so a lot of times question words in Japanese can be used to convey a large amount of an event occurring. So in this case, uh, many, no, so uh, what does yondemo mean? Yondemo. So yonde was to call out demo or the mo part is even if I call out. So even if I call out many times or Hi. a bunch of times, that's what the ikura, because it, it's a question word, but there's no question being embedded in the sentence. So that's one of those confusing things when learning Japanese, because in English, what, who, th those really convey um, a question inside of them. Our question words are very aggressively questions. In Japanese, they are not questions by themselves. They need a question plus a question. They need to mm. question question themselves because otherwise they're just they're they're like the word somewhat in English. We got what and we have somewhat there, so they add more to make their what's normally. <laughs> well, we add more to make our somewhat's. We add our sums. Um, so next is orite konai. So you might not recognize this on its own, but I'm going to give you the kanji for orite. 
Boom. What is that? Right there. Look familiar. It's like oriru, kind of. I think it's probably the same word. Oriru. Orite. Mm. So my, going my about this guy, but same same meaning still really. What do you do? Like, like, like ame ga furu, ame ga furu. Right. Ame ga furu. So the rain's the, falling. The rain's falling. So food food or, oriru with this one probably kind of conveys a more falling meaning, but the direction of these two are the same. Orite. Downwards. Hi. So orite. Uh, so this is right here. Um, we're no longer in quotation marks. So Annie wa, Annie, what is she? Is she the subject? She is the subject. Yes. So she's doing this verb right here, which is orite konai. So kuru. Do you remember what that meant? Kuru. It was orite kuru. What would that? Mean? Orite kuru. So kuru means towards the speaker. Yes. So orite kuru is like going down towards the speaker. Exactly. So now we have konai. Nai in Japanese is negative form. So it means he does not climb down toward the speaker. Orite konai. She does not climb down toward Jack. Kawaiso Jack. Um, so now we have some vocab words. Oops, give me one second. Yabai, what happened? Nani kore? Can't hear anything. Oh! Wee-oo, 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 I just gotta make weird noises, silly. Eto, kikoimasu ka? Kikoimasu ka? Kikoimasu ka? Kikoimasu ka? Oi, kikoimasu ka? Watashi wa... でも私自分に聞こえない。かわいそう。かわいそう。生徒。これは窓。窓の出る何か飛ぶ。飛びですか。飛び。トントントントントントン。聞こえない。お、こんにちは。聞こえる。聞こえるけど、自分について聞こえますか？はい。Oh, you can hear me? Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, phew, at least you fixed that. Uh, can you read this word for me? Mado. What is a mado? A window. Exactly. How about this word? Oh, that's a new word. Hmm. Kao. Kao. You haven't heard kao. Eh, kao. Kao. I did not do a picture here, but kao means face. Ah. Kao. Kao. You look like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Um, so next is dasu. What does dasu mean? Uh, that's it. The kanji looks familiar, like that's an exit. Yes. To exit. Exit. So dasu can mean to exit. Uh, specifically, it means it tends to mean to like to appear. <laughs> so you see, like how the how the camera is over here. So entrance, you enter through here. I can't see you anymore. But Hi. when you exit, I can see you. Oh. Mm. So that's why dasu is very hard for uh, English speakers to like wrap our hand around because it has the meaning of to like take something out or to leave, but it's because that thing is now appearing into your, like you're taking your pen out of your bag, dasu. You're leaving the house, you're dasuing into the world. So it's like when those like really weird words, because you're exiting out into the world, you dasta, congratulations. Mm. <laughs> so it's like really kind of weird because of that. So dasu, um, when it's conjugated with words, can have special meanings because of that, rather than exiting. So that's just one of those not fully connecting words. But you can think about it as exiting in a way. It it, it wouldn't like totally mess you up. It, so now you got dasu. What do you think the te form could be? Dasu. 
Uh, uh, date. Uh, that's a different word. That's mm. close. How about sudo? Uh, dasuru? No, oh, not no. that. So sudo. What what is sudo? What is the sudo? It's like when you throw it into a word, it means happening now. It does. Uh, I just meant. Uh, do you know what the te form or the mas form of sudo is? Any other form of sudo, just on its own, sudo. Ignore dasu. It's gone. It's psh, got thrown away. Hmm. Just that sudo. Surumashite, maybe. Hmm, that sounds kind of gross, doesn't it? Surumashite. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Hmm. How, how do you do I do. I, I did something. Uh, it's similar to uh, shimao, which means shimao. sucked. Uh, they're not related at all, but I don't know if that would kick your memory. Suru, surumashite. Actually, no, that's the same word. Shima, suru turns into shimas. It's a irregular verb. Mm. Um, and what's the te form of shimas? Do you remember? Uh, shimashite. <laughs> it's just shite. You make it too long. Oh. <laughs> so suru. Yeah is shite or suru is also shimas. So all verbs that end with su become shite. So dashite. 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 What is the ta form then? Dashita. Exactly, dashita. To have exited. Hi. <laughs> Um, so now we're looking at um, another thing. So we get a verb and we put it into O form plus to sta. So we have O form. Uh, so O form. Uh, so I'm going to first show you imas. So mas is either plus mas or it's plus imas, right? For example, yobu, sorry, yomu turns into um, yomimas. Yomimas. Is that a right there? Hi. What? How did? How do we get mu into me? So you replace the mu with uh, mimas or yeah. imas. The logic behind it is that the m from mu, the m, was stayed here. And the oo was deleted. We deleted the oo. And then we added the e that mm. goes with the mas. So yomu become yomi mas. How would we yomi add mas. o to yomu? The o to yomu. yomu. Mm. Mm -mm. Yom, yomi mas. No, yomi mas. So. So we're yomi starting with yomu. yomu. So all we have is yomu. There's no more yomi mas, right? Hi. Yomu, and we're and we are. Uh, so we have the m, and we have an u. And what happens in conjugation in Japanese is that u is killed. We hate u. We want to murder him as much as possible. Hi. Adding o to it. Mm. So how do we change yomu so that there's an o at the end? How do you think we do that? Yomu. Yes, exactly. Yomo. That's all. Yomo. We do. So, how about yobu? Yobu <laughs> would become yobo. Exactly. Yobo. 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 Right there. Yobo. Perfect. So, that is what's going on there. O. Oh. So, verb in O form plus toshita means to be about to do something. So, you do not complete the action. Your brain is like, I'm doing it. I am absolutely doing it. My mouth is open. Mm. I'm about to yobu. But the, the action does not complete. You could have started with yo, but it, it, it did not reach the full completion. That's what it means. Yo, mm. yo bo to shita. So how would you say to be about to call? Just that phrase, basically. Just, just the verb conjugated and everything. It would be yobo, so yobo toshita. Hai. Exactly, yobo toshita. Yobo toshita. Yobo toshita. Yobo toshita. Go backwards. 
Hi. So here is our phrase lead. Mo asa da yo. Ara. So mo asa da yo. Eh? Asa? Doko? Chigao? Ah. Ichido. I was confused. I was like, morning? What? I was like, where, where is this coming from? Mo asa da yo. I was like, asa go ho? Eh? Eh? Doko? Hi. Mo ichido. Mo ichido. Ah, yo bo to shite. Yo bo to shita. Toki. Ani ga tree house no. Ah, mado. Mado kara. Mado kara gao. Or, yeah, gao o. Dashita. Yes. What does mo ichido mean? One more time. Exactly. And the person doing this action is yo bo to shita is Jack. Yo bo to shita. Yobo Oh, about to call out. Exactly. So at the time when Jack was once once more going to call out for Annie, Annie ga ka treehouse no mado kara kao dashita. Hmm. Annie ga treehouse no mado kara. Mado, another word that sounds familiar. Kao o tashita. Mado, mado. Oh, wait, what? Window. <laughs> Just popped in, yeah. Mado. So, any tree house no mado kara kao o so her face just popped out of the window. Exactly. So you see how dashita could mean kind of exit the, the, the head exit the window, but it's more like it's appearing. Couldn't really see it before, but now she's sticking her head out. Kind of see how that like that link kind of there. <laughs> yes. Exiting, but appearing to the outside world. <laughs> uh, now we have two words. Uh, what's the first one? We have sukoi, sukoi, sukoshi, and ippoi, ippai, ippai, sukoshi and ippai. Hmm. So, sukoshi means little, ippai, it means like a lot or like full if you're hungry, kind of. It can definitely mean you're hungry. It can mean full. In this case, it's a lot was my goal. Uh, then we have this to read. Let's read one person talking at a time. はい。本が一歩一歩一歩一歩よ。You want to eat a lot of pie? いっぱい。いっぱい。いっぱい。いっぱい。いっぱい。はい。Will you become いっぱい本が一歩よ。Does that make sense? I mean, Japanese is full. Kind of. Oh, oh, that'd be ni, Nihon. Nihongo. But we're talking about Hon. is a book. Hon ga ippai yo. So we're not the full. Book is full. Case. We have lot. We're at the lot stage. Hon ga ippai. There are lots of books. There are lots of books. Mm. Lots and lots of books. Hi. And what does Jack say? What did you say? Perfect. And then what does Annie reply with? Ah, omoshiro so nanhon or nahon ga ippai ippai aruna. Perfect. Do you remember what omoshiro so na meant? It's been a while since we looked at that, but we did go through this word a long time ago. Omoshiro so. Interesting book, or like really interesting books. Close. Omoshiroi does mean interesting, but so. This is being said because Annie doesn't have certain information. What does she not have? What does she not know? What's inside the books? Yes. So, what does Omoshiro so na mean then? So, she doesn't know how interesting the books are? Basically, she's saying they look like interesting books. She doesn't mm. actually know this information. She didn't read them. She wasn't given a review, but they look cool. 
So soul is being used there to contain that unknown information. You can't just say they're interesting books if you don't know for sure. I, yeah. Uh, so what is the aru and ippai saying with this? Ippai aru. So aru, aru, aru. Aru. Iru, aru. So just being alive, aru? Uh, <laughs> so iru uh, and aru are the same word, but one of them is for inanimate objects and one of them is for animate objects. Books don't have feelings, so we use aru. So it, it basically means like to exist. So it's like saying in English, there are. Mm. There are. So that has the same meaning of it exists. There are, right? Hi. That has the same meaning. Uh, it just sometimes it's easier to say are means something exists just because having they are, there is, there are like all those ways we change the form in English. <laughs> So there are lots of books that look interesting. I, Aru, a lot of books exist, kind of. Yeah. Yep. And they look interesting up here. <clears> Hi. <throat> the next we're looking at is Nara. Oops. So Nara goes in between two sentences, making one big sentence. And it basically means if the first half of the sentence is true, then the second sentence is true. For example, if there are books, then I want to go inside. How would you say the sentence, there are books? There are say? books. Uh, hon, hon wa iru. Sorry, not iru, aru. Hon, hon, we tend to say ga with aru, I feel like. Hon ga aru. Hon, hon wa aru. Hon ga aru. I kind of want ga. Like, oh, I feel like you could do either. I'll, I'll do honwa. <laughs> it's probably fine. And then we do nara. Boom. Which is, and then how about I want to go inside. Uh, oh, before, before we do that, before we do that, what does haidimasu mean? Haidimasu. I'm going in. Yes. Or I'm going, basically. Exactly. How about Entering. Ha haiditai? I don't want to go in. That is actually haritakunai. Mm. Ha, ha, haritakunai. You need to have that nai there to mean the I don't. So haritai means I want to go in. So this right here, mm. I'm just popping this in here. I'm not teaching it to you at this moment. Tai at the end of verbs, they, they delete the mas. You add tai. This just means I want. Haritai. Mm. So um, how would you say I want to go inside then? I want to go inside. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. uh, uh, haitai naka. No, that doesn't make sense. Remember order. What goes at the end of sentences? At the end of the sentence? Yeah, what goes the verb. The yes. So the verb is haitai. So inside is not at the end of sentence in Japanese. It is in English. In mm. Japanese, inside, is that the object or the subject? I want to go inside. It would be the subject here. It is not. <laughs> no. So the sentence right here is, if there are books, I want to go inside the subject. Oh, inside. true. So this right here is like, watashi wa. Uh, that's why it has to be honga in this specific context. Honga. But then it makes sense, sense. yeah. Watashi <laughs> wa <laughs> honga. Uh, what will be next? You say watashiwa again? Uh, I, I just mean watashiwa over here in the middle because it, it, it makes more sense. Uh, mm. so we have naka, which means in sense. Naka. Naka. Hairitai. Hairitai. Mm. Naka ni hairitai. So, do you know why we're using ni here? Basically, it's saying. We're going in the direction, or we're going in in the direction exactly. of inside. Perfect. That is the best way to explain it. <laughs> so, hon ga aru nara, watashi wa naka ni haritai. If books exist in this specific location, it's the context, um, then nara, I want to go inside. Boku ga aru nara, watashi wa naka ni haritai. 
Hi. Does nada kind of make sense? So if S is true, then S2 is also true. Perfect. Like I want to go in if there's books, otherwise no. Perfect. Um, here's a little refresher. Teform plus me Do you remember what that meant? Teform plus me tai. Nobote me night. Oh, oh. Uh, that's why you're mm. for it was mote <laughs> uh, so nobote minai is like will do you want to do something it does have that nobote mitai is like want to try ah nobote minai this, this, the nobote minai is grammatically correct it, it does have meaning but it's mm. for meaning i should check which one is being used in the book <laughs> Like, which because one of them is inviting somebody to do something, and the other one is like more just like a general question. Mm. Anyway, what, plus what, does mean? what does mitai mean? Mitai, I'm not gonna say it to see because that was wrong the last time. It was mitai. wrong. Um, Okay. <laughs> I just have to say what it is. It means um to try something. Basically, ah, right. you want to see the verb by doing it yourself. <laughs> so no no me to, to I want to try climbing. So can you do me a favor and read this phrase that Jack says or maybe thinks? Uh eh hon uh hon ga aru nara mite. Mite, mite, yep. mitai. Mite, mite, mitai. Mitai. Like, I want to try and see the books. Or this is nara. So, if books, question mark, yes. or if books are if books are there, yes, I want to go and see them. Perfect. Yep. Because this right here, the honga aru, has to be correct. So, he kind of says, it this way because is Annie telling the truth? Aww. But assuming she is, he does want to see those books. Mm. So here is a couple more words. Do you know what a hana is? Hana. So a not flower, the... a nose. Yes. I remember having a couple meanings. Yeah. So hana like flower looks like this, but I wanted hana like this. Which means nose. nose. So hana as a nose. Could, there's another word called hanasaki. Do you have any idea what that could mean? It's referring to a part of the nose. Hanasaki. Yes. Is it the nostrils, the it's, bit inside? It's actually the tip. So it's like the pointy mm. part. Saki can mean like the tip of lots of things. Not always pronounced like saki. But uh, hanasaki just means the tip of the nose. What is a megane? Megane is glasses. How about ochiru? What does that verb mean? Ochiru. I don't know what that means, but guessing from the image, it's like falling. It is. Ochiru means to fall. How about oshi ageru? Oshi ageru. Ageru was to rise up. Oshi. Yes. Oshi. Oshi. Is that like a color? I don't, I'm not sure. It, it's actually, um, oshi can mean push. So, po, oshi ageru means to push up. So, what she's doing in that picture right there is she's pushing her glasses from her hanasaki up. Hmm. What's the difference between that and osu, for example? Osu, osu is kind of aggressive pushing, like pushing with your whole body. If you osu... Hmm. Your glasses up, you'd like, <laughs> you'd, like yourself. Smack, you'd smack yourself in the face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you'd be doing it very aggressively, but normally you push it just slightly with your finger. Um, also, uh, all right, also, and um, also right here to push, also is oshi and oshi ageru. It is theoretically the same, it's a compound word. But like also, I feel like if you just said I also, 
I oshita my glasses. It, it feels like you very aggressively pushed it. Well, oshi mm. as, as a compound word feels less aggressive, but it, it it is the same. This is the same verb, but this is just a compound word combining two verbs. Hi. Agiru just is not very aggressive. It just means like up, but it it doesn't have any like force with it. You'd have to change agiru to gain force for things. Um, so now we are actually at our last sentence, which is why I was pushing. I was like, we gotta go. We gotta finish this first chapter. Uh, yes. Can you do me a <clears throat> and read this? Jack wa hana chiki hana chiki mas hana saki ah hana saki made ah zuri oh yeah zuri o chita chita mi gare o oshite oshi age oshi age sinaka senaka no nori 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 ryukku リュック。リュック。リュックをたし、たしかめると。nawaboshi. What is that word? たしかめると、nawaboshi was that handful to read? Zuri ochita. Do you vaguely remember what ochiru meant? Test, test. Hello. Domo. Kiko imasu ka? Hi. Nice. So we have zuri ochita. So ochita is the normal part of this word, the ochiru. And we did see this earlier. Do you know what ochita meant? The man kind of looked like that. Mm, falling. Yes. So zuri ochiru uh, is describing the way in which something falls, which is kind of like sliding down something so rather than just free falling like the man did in the picture it's sliding down something um so we have a hanasaki made zuri ochita megane so this is describing something his megane did what, what happened to his megane ochita so it fell yeah or it went down kind of yes and where did it fall to the made mm -hmm. made yes made eh, eh, you, hmm. to the tip of your nose exactly so his glasses <clears throat> were like this and the ochita uh, zuri ochita right over here to the tip of his nose and then to those glasses which had fallen to the tip of the nose jack he oshi ageru. Oshi ageru. Oshi ageru. He pushed it back up, basically. Exactly. Perfect. So, ryukku it stands for rucksack, and it is used to describe backpacks. Senaka no. Uh, yes. So, not a traditional Japanese backpack. So, it's like a real backpack like an american backpack mm. you know like those little school bags that they have in japan uh yeah they, they're not talking about this <laughs> that has a special word so ryuku is telling us he has a real backpack for some reason uh and where was he where did he have his backpack 
Senaka, so his back. Yes, he had it on his back. And he's tashkameru. So tashkameru means to check something. So he's basically checking his backpack. He's like, maybe he fixed it a little bit. Maybe double checks all the pockets are zipped up. But you like, you just kind of like, yep, my backpack is on my back. And then he nigite the nawabashigo. Nigite. Nawa. So he ran towards the rope ladder. Loves. So, nigeru means to run. Uh, specifically, it means to escape. Mm. Nigeru means to escape. Uh, hasiru means to run. I don't know that that like word game was going on. Uh, nigeru, ni, nigiru means to grab something, to use your mm. hand and grab. So, he grabs the rope ladder and then he nobori. Hajimeta. So this is another compound word. Hajimeru, what is it doing to Noboru? So he is starting to climb. Exactly. Perfect. Beautiful. Yep, that is what it says. And you have finished chapter one. Ta. Woo! Yeah, I'm going to...